Hi, and welcome to Roswell United Methodist Church. My name is Michael Cromwell, and I have the joy of serving as one of the associate pastors here at RUMC. Thanks for joining us for our on-demand version of the sermon, which will be delivered later today. If you'd like to watch our services live, you can do so via our live stream at 9 o'clock and 11.15. Notice our different worship times and our different hours that we have now. You'll also be able to see the entire worship service service on demand later this afternoon at rumc.com slash sermons. We are so glad that you are with us today. We're thankful for your presence and we're thankful for your generosity and the different ways that you are helping to make RUMC a place of community and faith. Let's have a word of prayer before we hear our sermon. Gracious and loving God, we love you so much and we are grateful for this day and this day that we have to worship you. May the words that we are to hear, may they not only pierce our ears, but pierce our hearts as well, that we might be changed in different people because of what you have to say to us today. We thank you and we love you all in Christ's name we pray, amen. Now let's hear our sermon from today. Good morning, my name's Tom Davis. I'm senior pastor here at Roswell United Methodist Church. This morning at the nine o'clock service, we'll be baptizing nine young people. And I just wanna say a word about baptism. Sometimes we think about folks who, who baptize babies and those who baptize adults and, and you know, what's the difference between the two. The church has always wrestled with how do you come into a re loving relationship with Jesus Christ? Do you get to, to know Christ and then you love him? Well, that would be like, like a marriage. You get to know someone and, and then you love them. And then you go through with the ceremony of marriage, with the rite, with the, uh, the, the sign of the marriage. And baptism, yes. For adults, there are those who come to, to know God and then, then say yes. And then go through the, the sign, the symbol of baptism. But not all love relationships are like that. Sometimes we love folks before we know them. I know that was the case when I had children. I loved them before I ever saw their face. And sometimes the loving relationship is exactly like that. We're loved before we're known. And it's the symbol of, of we're baptizing a baby that says, yes. This child is a part of the family before they knew it. And the whole family of God surrounds them. Both are appropriate, baptizing babies and baptizing adults. Baptism is an outward and visible sign. Something you can see of an inward and spiritual grace. A grace that you can't see. Water has always been a, a symbol of a new start, a new beginning, a fresh start. When God's people went from Egypt into the wilderness, they passed through the Red Sea. It was a new start, a new beginning, a fresh start. And when they passed from the wilderness into the promised land, God's people passed through the River Jordan. It was a new start, a fresh start, a, a new beginning. When Jesus went into his, his public ministry, he was baptized. He didn't need forgiveness of sin, though you and I do. It was a fresh start, a new start. Baptism is a new start, a fresh start, a, a being born brand new, where for you and for me, all that would kill us is washed away. All that would destroy us is washed away. It reminds us of what Jesus did on the cross all the sin, all the shame, all the fear is washed away. And when we come to new life, we come to new life knowing that Jesus is the life that lives and breathes through us. This morning we'll be baptizing nine young people. They will make the profession of faith on their own. And then we'll do the baptism. I'll be interviewing a couple of those young people before the baptism. And before we do that, join with me in prayer. Let's pray. 
Jesus, this day, it's a day to give thanks. It's a day to celebrate. It's a day that your loving spirit pours over us where we give thanks to you and acknowledge your work in the lives of others. And we can remember and participate as we remember your, your work in our lives this day. Thank you. Thank you for this great day and this great opportunity. Amen. This morning, we're going to be talking to Brooks Bolton and Demi Marabella. And Demi is, both of them have gone through confirmation class. And Brooks will be baptized and Demi will, and then go through confirmation. And Demi will go through confirmation first. Tell me, what was the best thing about confirmation? Um, I think experience it experiencing it with my friends was really fun and I had great counselors that I'm thankful for. How long was it? 12 weeks. 12 weeks? Yeah. Do you remember anything specific that you enjoyed learning? I enjoyed learning about the Trinity okay. because um, we learned about it in school a little bit and we got to learn more at confirmation. Okay. Has it made any difference in your relationship to Christ? I think it has because at school I'm more open about my relationship with Christ instead of being more self-conscious about it. Okay. Has it helped you put some words maybe um, to your faith or more what you do? Probably more what I do. Like at school I find myself volunteering more to pray which I wasn't doing before confirmation. Yeah, that's great. Well, Brooks, how about you? Uh, how's confirmation been for you? Um, good and very fun. What's been the most fun thing about it? Probably the retreat. Okay. Where'd you go on the retreat? Uh, to Camp Glisson in Dahlonega. Okay. What did, was there anything that you remember about learning there? Um, yes. We recovered the, like, the fruits in the Book of Discipline. Okay. Well, that's, that's very, very good. Well, you're going to be baptized uh, as well. Um, tell me a little bit about uh, how you decided that you wanted to be baptized. Well, at the confirmation retreat, I accepted Christ, and I figured that that meant the next step would be to get baptized, and then after that, finish confirmation. Okay, so this is a big, big deal day for you then, isn't it? Mm -hmm. what, what, other than the retreat, has this helped you be closer to Christ? Yes, definitely. Okay. Um, did you all talk some about knowing Jesus as your Lord? Yes, we talked about those different names and stuff. Okay. We talked about some of the names that like, could have been other stuff too. All right. Now, if you called him the sun, you could literally mean the sun. Okay. Or if he was the water, he could legitimately be water. Or lamb, he could literally be a sheep. Okay. Well, has it made a difference in your life, confirmation? Yes. In what way? Well, I think it helped me understand, like, what was the religion was about. And it helped me really figure out that this is what I want to do. Okay. Well, did you grow up in the church? Yes. Okay. Did you grow up in the church? No. Okay. So this is kind of a new step, but something you've told me off camera several times uh, when I said, what's your favorite thing, would you say? Confirmation. <laughs> yeah. And you liked it even more than basketball. Yeah. Which, <laughs> that's, that's great. Well, has it made a difference in, where do you think you're going to go from here as far as what difference will it make in the way that you live your life after Sunday? Um, I think maybe it could, I could tell my friends about it and my family and maybe get them to try confirmation. Good, good. And from this point on, is it going to make any difference to you? and the way that you live your life? Yes. Well, tell me a little bit about that. Um, I'm going to start going to church a lot more. Okay, Demi and, and, and Brooks, thanks a lot. I appreciate you all coming here and sharing. I, it means a lot to the people in the congregation and a lot to the folks 
at home too. Let's pray together, okay? Jesus, we always have a lot to be thankful for. And sometimes we know it for certain. Um, and may today be one of those days. Give us those eyes that see things to thank you for. And mouths that give you the thanks and do it out loud. I'm thankful for Demi and I'm thankful for Brooks. I'm thankful for this church and uh, for confirmation. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thanks again for joining us today. Um, just a reminder, if you'd like to watch the entire worship service, you can do so via live stream at 9 o'clock and 11.15 a.m. You can also view the service on demand a little bit later this afternoon at rumc.com slash sermons. Also, if you have any prayer requests, we would love to hear about those. You can send those in to pray at rumc.com. Also, if you'd like to give of your tithes and your offerings, you can do that online as well. And that's at rumc.com slash giving. Uh, thanks again for joining us today and for honoring God with your presence. We hope and pray that you have a wonderful week and we look forward to seeing you again next week. Hi, thank you for joining us. My name's Tom Davis. I'm senior pastor here at Roswell United Methodist Church. Our mission here at RUMC is to help people live a Christ-centered life. We're a welcoming church, we're a biblical church, and we're a compassionate church. That the, we believe that the way that, that God made us, that he made us in his image. And what the Bible tells us is that his image is an us, is an our. When God said in the creation story, let us create humans in our image. He made us to be in community together. He made us to connect to him and one another. That's the place that this is at Roswell United Methodist Church, a place of community and faith. I want to invite you to join us. It might be online, it might be through social media, or it might be here in person. We meet at 9 o'clock in a contemporary service with a band. We also have two 1115 services. One is here in the sanctuary with a traditional choir, an organ. We also meet at 1115 with a band in our chapel. Thank you for joining us, and I look forward to meeting you.